This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can use GIMP to create this image of a, uh, I guess you can call this a fish tank inside of a light bulb. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and we'll get started here in GIMP. Uh, the first thing we want to do is open up the image of the light bulb. I will have a link to that in the description of the video, so just go ahead and save that image and open it up with GIMP and it should look like this. The first thing I want to do is rotate this around so that it's sitting on its side, like in the thumbnail here. So I'm just going to click on the rotate tool, which is over here, and I'll just click and drag on the image to rotate it around until it's sitting like that. And then we can just go ahead and click rotate. But then I want to right click on this layer and go to um, image uh, layer to image size and then I want to fill in the rest of this uh, transparent area so I'm just gonna uh, click the button over here that says create a new layer and we're gonna just name it just let it stay layer um, we want the layer fill type to be white and just go ahead and click OK and I'll just click and drag this down beneath the light bulb image and I'll just right click on that and go to flatten image so that's all one image and then we should be all set to go so the next thing we want to do is import the image of um, water and I'll have a link to that in the description as well it's this water slash PNG and just click and drag that into GIMP and I should put it on top of the um, the light bulb as a new layer and once we've done that we want to go to the drop down over here and select uh, multiply and you'll be able to see some of the um, some of the light bulb beneath that and what we want to do now is just shrink this thing down so it fits better inside of the light bulb so uh, we'll come over to the scale tool which is over here and click on that and then hold control and grab one of the corner arrows and just scale it down like that we can take this little center point and bring this over here and I think that should be pretty good that's a pretty good size right there we can go to scale and what I want to do now is just rotate this around just a tiny bit because if you notice in the thumbnail here I have it kind of look like the water is splashing up like against the uh, against the inside wall of the light bulb so what I'll do is just click on the rotate tool I'll click on that and just rotate it around just a little bit counterclockwise like that go ahead and click rotate and that should be pretty good so what we want to do now is get rid of all the area outside of the light, of the light bulb so that the image um, so that the uh, the water image only resides within the light bulb itself so to do that uh, I'm gonna right click on that layer and go to add layer mask and just go ahead and click add we want white full opacity go ahead and click add and we're gonna want to grab the paintbrush which is over here and oops, um, we want to make this black if it isn't black already so go ahead and switch it around so that this uh, the foreground color is, is black and the brush I want to use is this one over here, not the solid one, but the one next to it. It's a little softer. And I'm going to bring the size of this down a little bit. It's a little too big from what I was previously using. Maybe I'll bring that down a little more. Another way to change the size is to just hold down the bracket keys. That's what I like to do. And what we could do now is just go ahead and paint out. Uh, we can go ahead and get rid of the uh, outside area. And I'm just going to zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in. And I'm going, to use, I'm going to press down on the mouse wheel to move the page around, just like we do in Inkscape. This works the same way. So I'm just going to go around the edges and erase the blue area around the edge of the light bulb. And I'm just going to do this a little quick here in this tutorial. I'm not going to waste too much time um, making this look perfect. Just go ahead and erase this out here. Let me get this out here. And you could also use the erase tool instead of applying a layer mask, but I think this is a better way to go. I think the layer mask is better because it, um, uh, like, let's say, like with the layer mask, for example, let's say you accidentally erase that part. Well, with the erase tool, you can just undo it, but with the paint tool, I mean, with the with the layer mask, you can just switch this back to white and you can color it back in. Like if you make any mistakes. So let me switch that back to black. Let me finish uh, finish up this out here come around the outside here again I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse to uh, to pan the page around like that erase the outside of this over here and 
And as you can see here, I accidentally like clipped off a little bit of the inside there. So I'm just going to switch the brush over to white. And I'll shrink that down a little bit. And I'll just paint that back in. And this is what you can do if you really want to spend some time. Oops, if you really want to spend some time touching this thing up and making it look nice. Oops, I messed up again. I'm being a little heavy handed here. Um, uh, this is good if you really just want to spend some time, make this thing look nice and picture perfect. And I'm going to press 1 to zoom back out to 100%. That's pretty good for now. I'm just going to leave that as it is for the sake of this tutorial. And what I want to do now is bring in the image of the goldfish. So uh, that will be linked in the description as well. So I'm just going to grab the uh, goldfish and click and drag that into GIMP. And there's our goldfish. And I'm going to take the scale tool, which is up here, and click on that and just hold control and scale this down. About that small. Let me put this over here. Let me click scale to see how that looks. Um, maybe I'll scale that down a little more. There we go. Click scale. And I'm just going to grab the move tool and just position this right about, maybe right about there. And what we want to do now is make it look like it blends in, like it actually belongs in the image and it's not just like pasted there like a cut and paste type of thing. So what we could do is go to uh, mode and choose uh, multiply. And it kind of looks like it's part of the image there. And what we could do now is one final step is we could uh, click on the uh, the light bulb, I mean, I mean the, the water layer, the middle layer there. And we could just touch the colors up a little bit. If you notice, I made the colors pop a little more in the thumbnail. We can go to um, colors, uh, hue, saturation. I think it actually looks pretty good how it does now, but it's, you know, if you just want to play around with it a little bit, you could bring the saturation up. Maybe bring the lightness up or down or whatever. Maybe try a different shade, more like an aqua, like that. And you can turn off the preview to see how it previously looked. That's how it looked before. That's how it looks now. And that's all right. I'll just leave it like that and click OK. And uh, I think that should pretty much do it. One final step would be, I, if you notice, I put like the reflection of the light bulb underneath it. If you'd like to do that, what we could do is we can right click on one of these layers and go to flatten image. And then I could, um, I'm just going to uh, hit Control C to copy the image and go to Edit, Paste as, New Layer, uh, new, yeah, New Layer. And then I'll go to the Flip tool, which is over here. And we're going to want Vertical selected. Then just go ahead and click on the image to flip it vertically. And the Mode, we're going to choose uh, Multiply again. We'll go to the Move tool. And I'm just going to move this down. I'm just going to hold control so it locks onto the vertical axis. Bring that down to about there. Maybe I'll rotate that around a little bit with the rotate tool. Click on that. Just rotate it around just a touch. Click rotate. Go back to the move tool. Put this right about there. And that looks pretty good. What we could do with that is we could take the opacity and drop that down a lot. Maybe like that much. And now we can grab the erase tool and grab like a uh, like a much softer brush like over here and raise the size of this brush up to like two like almost 300 and kind of just like brush out part of that uh, that reflection image to make it looks like it fades out into whiteness and that should pretty much do it we've now created our little uh, light bulb fish tank so uh, if you have any questions let me know and as always thank you for watching